now. And it appears to be working. So, to further test it out, I'm going to read some comments from the last video that I, I did. And, Jay, you're sending me a message right now saying hello. So, hello, Jay. I'm recording this video as you're sending me a message. But, hey to Jay who views this channel. So, from the video that I recorded yesterday, Lavillier microphone sound test, can you tell a difference? From the video comments, the first comment says, do you smoke cigarettes? No, I do not smoke cigarettes. Um, if you ever hear me cough in a video, it's because I have allergies or sinus trouble. Um, I do live in the south where there's a lot of pollen and it's raining right now which is just probably making our pollen worse. So if you hear me coughing, that's from the pollen here. Um, I've never smoked cigarettes. My dad um, smoked as I was growing up and he finally quit a few years ago. Um, I have smoked other things. Um, not cigarettes, but um the thing that people call all natural from the earth that is i sh probably shouldn't talk about on youtube so i'm not gonna say the word but i'm sure y'all know what i'm talking about but i don't do that anymore either so no i don't smoke anything same person said thanks for reviewing products i think a lot of people appreciate the hard work you do and I appreciate you guys checking out my channel. Um, Y'all have helped my channel grow so much. I'm up to like over a thousand, two, 2,000 subscribers right now. And I'm now a YouTube creator. And I got my first paycheck from YouTube. And I used it to purchase this microphone and the microphone adapter. And the other microphones I tested out from Amazon um, to better make... For better sound quality in my videos, that's what I spent my first um, YouTube Creator paycheck on. Hopefully, y'all can hear me much better now. And the next comment is written in a different language, and I did have it translated. Always number and one with a... Uh, Smiley face with the heart-shaped eyes. Um, so, I guess you're saying that I'm number one or number one that you like to watch. So, thank you for that. Sex o porno. One needs someone like you to act in the best shows. They are one of the best in MERS. I-M-M-E-R-V-S 23-23 The two of them and Jason Statham Okay, I'm not sure what you mean by that Um, I think you're asking me to be in a porno Um, no I do not want to be in a porno I'm a mother of a little Almost three year old boy And I have a husband So No, I do not plan to be in any pornos um no diaper porn neither um the comment after that was from my friend ashley i can hear you fine without the mic but i couldn't really tell if you were talking into a mic or not to be honest yeah, there's been a lot of people saying that my videos tend to, like, they can hear me and then toward the end they can't hear me. I know, um, sometimes your videos and that person who likes to make videos about us sometimes, I can't understand either. Sometimes it sounds like the volume is low on y'all so i don't know if it's just something youtube maybe it's something to do with when you upload to youtube it makes the volume lower i don't know but 
Like, I have to have trouble with when I'm watching friend videos that are just making regular videos like I do with um, a phone or whatever that sometimes the volume can be low. But, um, I guess that one that has made videos about us is sometimes low because she doesn't want others to hear her. And I'm not trying to say nothing bad about you if you're watching this channel. I'm just saying sometimes I can't hear you in the video. Um, five, two, five. And then this is written in some language that I cannot understand. Translation is 25 artistic or some Linnell. Guess maybe that's the type of microphone. One mini and a good exercise. Greetings from the city of the world. And you gave me a little rose and a wink and a heart. That's cute. Um, but I'm guessing this goes with the other comment that was written in the language that I couldn't understand that said something about sex porn. Um, I don't plan on doing any type of porn. Um. I guess uh, people may think I have, like, skinny body that, like, you'd want to see in a porn. But I do not plan on doing any kind of porn. I have a husband that I'm happily married to. Um, the rings. Sometimes I do, um, forget and film a video with the re without the rings. I know that there are certain people that watch this channel that think that means something, but... It's just I took it off because my finger was itching and forgot to put it back on. We are still happily married and we have a almost three year old. And I'd like to have another baby before we're before we get any older. Um, so as a mom I don't plan on doing porn videos. If I was gonna do anything like that, it was definitely been before I had a child. But even back then, I don't think I could see myself actually making porn videos. I've had some friends joke about, like, making porn videos and stuff. And I'm just like, no, I, I cannot go through with that. Like, I do believe in, like, religious values of not Sleeping with everyone that you see and, um, like, only sleeping with your husband and I'm not trying to get on a religious subject here. I'm just, that's just not something I agree with doing. I guess it's better to put it than to get on, onto a, a religion side of it that no one's would probably agree with um next question or comment would you open your own abdl business i would love to open a business <laughs> um i just don't know how to go about that um Jay sent me two pictures. I will look at your pictures, Jay, when I'm finished making this video. Shout out to Jay, who is a great um, supporter of this channel. Would you open your own ABDL business? So, I guess... Um, I knew how to go about that. I would love to open a business, but I mean, I would have to go purchase like a building. I don't think I could run it from here where I live. Maybe if I had like a shed, but I don't know if the owner of this land would um, let me have a business here. So I would need to purchase or rent a building and I don't know I would have to discuss that with my husband because 
Although I am making a little bit of money off being a YouTube creator and um, helping with other things that I do and, or selling makeup and jewelry or whatever I do to make side cash, it wouldn't be enough money to purchase a building. So I would have to discuss that with my husband and I'm sure he would love to run a business too, but I just um, don't know if we would have enough funds to put forth that. I know you can get like a government loan. Um, we have talked about that before, but we've never tried to actually go about doing that. Um, people have told us like how you can go about getting a business loan to purchase a place and open up a business. And then there's also, you have to get the business license and all this. So I don't know. Um, Maybe like an online store, but I would still have to purchase all the stuff from somewhere and then it would basically be me reselling the stuff. So, I don't know if that would be worth the money. But I would be open to the idea of running a business. It's just if we had the funds to pit for to get the business started. Next comment, I love your diaper videos. Thank you, um, thank you for supporting my channel, for helping me grow to this many viewers and, and subscribers. Diaper review on a very wet pull-up. That's something that I can do. My son has some very wet pull-ups. We went and purchased some pull-ups today. I made a, um, shot with me video that... I may have this video and that video joined together, or these may be two separate videos. So, if I make this into two separate videos, then go check that one out. It's a shot with me video where I'm looking for diapers and pull-ups and stuff to purchase. And talking about some sales that I ran into while I was in the store. That's all the comments for... The last video the, reading these comments while I have some free time later I have to go um back to my caregivers job of sitting with this lady that I'm helping my neighbor so um right now I have a break while my son's asleep and someone else is helping her so I'm going to continue with comments from the Bunny Hugs Absorbization. Sometimes I can't talk right. I'm too Southern. Test with salt. Okay, so the first comment on this video says, do you have classic Depin diapers tape tabs test? Do you have classic Depin's diapers tape t tabs test? No, um, well, I have the diapers that, um, someone sent me the ABDL diapers and the lady that I've been helping, she has some of those regular, like, um, Depin type diapers but I haven't done like any kind of absorbency test with those. I did show them in probably a video or two. I think I've shown them twice in videos on here. But I've never done like any kind of absorbency test with those. That's something I could possibly do in a future video. Your reviews are always helpful. Um, this one had reading more. I didn't save all of the comments. Your reviews are always helpful. And happy anniversary. Thank you. I do have a suggestion for witness testing though. When pouring in the water, just pour it on one spot and let the diaper. So it's a job and wick it throughout the diaper by itself. I think it says read more, but... I, um, stuck 
pictures of the comments because this phone is offline right now and I don't have any Wi-Fi to connect it to the internet. Um, I'm out of hotspot data. Like I've said in another video, we let go of the Wi-Fi um, to save money. We just use our hotspot data and I'm currently out of hotspot data. So, I can't finish reading that comment, but I will take your comment into suggestion. My friend Ashley, all congratulations on your first YouTube paycheck. That is awesome and you deserve it. Thanks. Um, like I said in the other part of the video, I used it so far to buy this microphone that I'm now testing it out. And I'm so happy, like, I say that I actually got paid for making videos. Like, I just started this channel out three years ago when my son was born. Ashley, you're the one who actually inspired me to make videos. You were making the videos where you were doing like reviews of food that you ate and i was like that looks like fun i'm gonna make a youtube channel what can i talk about and i'm like well um having newborns so i'm using diapers and wipes so i'll make videos about diapers and wipes and then this video this channel grew and a lot of people from the adult baby community found my videos and and y'all got me to start testing out or doing like trials of the ABDL diapers and y'all were the ones who really helped this channel grow the ABDL community y'all really helped my channel grow and I am so appreciative of y'all y'all helped me grow y'all helped me get my first YouTube paycheck thank y'all for that this just started out as a hobby I never thought it would become like something that could be an actual job I had watched this, um, Krista Coupons that teaches you how to coupon, and she gets paid, and I thought that would be cool, but I never thought that I would actually grow my channel far enough, but thanks to the ABDL community, here we are. Thank y'all. Next comment. Those plastic diapers are worth a lot of money because they're mostly vintage diapers. A whole pack is worth half a thousand? Wow. If not a thousand or more, single diapers are worth a lot. Wow. Would you consider selling them if you sold them? And again, it says read more and I can't read more because, like I said, I don't have any hotspot data. And I just take a picture of these comments. But yeah, I mean, if anyone's willing to pay me a thousand dollars for a diaper, sure. Definitely. I have, um, this looks like the same comment that was on another one. And it has the option now to translate to English. Artistic or some sex o porno one mini and good exercise greetings from the city of world with a flower a rose a wink and a heart um like i've already said i'm a mom it's probably gonna be the third time i've said this i'm a mom of almost three year olds i have a husband we're happily married i don't plan on doing any porn videos um it's also against my beliefs. I don't really believe in like having sex with multiple like people that I don't know for a porn video and having my body like all over the internet. That's just not something that I'm comfortable with. I know you can make thousands of dollars doing that, but that's just not something that I'm comfortable with doing and I just feel like that's against my beliefs however you feel about it is okay that's your opinion I'm allowed to have mine how how I feel my beliefs and morals morals I guess is the word I was looking for my morals on that I 
I guess this is great for ABDL, but for being a diaper reviewer, I would think you would review diapers that people use today. I thought I have been reviewing diapers that people use today. Um, there's a video where I did the overnights from, what company was that though? Let me go see if I have it. I have the video where I reviewed the honest overnights and I told y'all about how we had some issues with it leaking and not hold, holding up through the night. And then I even did a try on of these in a couple of videos back. They didn't fit, but this is a brand that I assume people are using now. It's a brand that is sold in the stores. Um, and I also did the, these are the overnights. I also did the overnights. I mean, not the overnights, but the Honest Company regular diapers and I've done like Huggies pull-ups, the Pampers Ninjamas that are nighttime diapers, the Huggies Good Nights that are for nighttime use. Um, when my child was younger, I did um, Parents' Choice, Huggies, Pampers, pretty much every diaper brand that we used. Um, what what brands are you using that I haven't done? Unless you are welcoming to the ABDL because they give you more views to your channel. Well, yes, that's what I just discussed. The, um, I started out. I start. I'll talk more about how. I started this channel back in 2009 I 2019 excuse me I was a new mom um, my friend Ashley was doing videos where she would um, have like eat with me videos and she would basically like review the food or um, she would go out to a restaurant and give her view opinion on how the food tasted and I was like I want to do something like that for a hobby. And like I said, my child was newborn. So, like, what could I do? Well, I have a lot of diapers and wipes because um, it hadn't been but a few months ago that we had had the baby shower and I had a, all kind of diapers and wipes and stuff. And I was like, well, I can do videos reviewing baby products. And so, as he got older, I continued to do baby products and within the past it's been recently within like the past six months i guess more of the abdl community has found my channel i guess youtube actually suggested me to the abdl community and yes they are the ones that have helped my channel grow um one of them suggested to me to be, do a try on and try try on at first i didn't want to do it i i was I had my morals. I, I thought I'd be showing too much skin. I didn't know how to go about doing that. And I came across another woman, probably her 30s, um, maybe a little older than me. But she tried them on and she did it in a discreet way to where it didn't seem strange or odd or anything. And, and she would do it like with her leggings on. And I... She commented and was talking about how, I mean, she did a video on how to grow your channel. And I commented on there and she told me, she gave me some advice that if I wanted to try it just to stay firm. Um, don't let people talk me into doing anything I'm uncomfortable with. If I want to keep leggings on while doing the try-ons to stick with my, how would you say it, jurisdictions of how I feel and don't let people talk me into doing anything that I was uncomfortable with. Well, after watching her, a couple of her videos, I decided that I would do that. And y'all were right. Um, the one who told me to do that and that I would get more views, you were right. My video skyrocketed to the top. I got like, I don't know, over a thousand views. Um, 
and from there I've just been getting more and more supporters and the channel has grown and I'm actually a YouTube creator I know I keep talking about that but I was just I just can't believe how fast this channel just just grew three years ago I just started this channel not just as a hobby and now it's grown and yes it was from the ABDL community they have been a great supporter of this channel if that is the reason then you need and again it says read more I'm sorry that I didn't realize I just quickly took pictures of the comments to be able to read on this video and I didn't think to click read more to get the whole comment sorry for that I found out that the Air Force military building called the Alley Hall second floor storage rooms I found out that the Air Force military building called the Alley Hall do you mean Alley Hall or are you talking about my friend Ashley Hall second floor storage rooms they keep a half of Crete a pure vintage okay I guess you are talking about Alley Hall it just looks similar to her name and I was confused because someone did make a call and reported her for making TikTok videos and I'm sure she doesn't mind mentioning me mentioning that in the channel she's mentioned it on her channel I found out that the Air Force military building called the Alley Hall second floor storage rooms they keep a half of crate of pure vintage plastic diapers huggies and loves diapers for emergency I've seen it with and then it says reading more okay that's cool information to know are those huggies diaper a sixth grade student um no the bunny hugs are not huggies they're they're their own brand i think they're like a vintage brand and you can find them like on ebay i think amazon is sold out and i have another one of these comments that's written in another language and youtube has actually decided to translate for me without me having to go to google to translate the legend of Fukada jpp dot monster snow queen is my idol she is the person i aspire to me she is my daylight okay that's that's great to know is there any reasons why you wear diapers do you have accidents i actually do not use diapers for personal use um i know in the videos where i'm talking about helping um this lady that I'm caregiving for when I talk about helping her with wearing the adult pull-ups and stuff I say we because I just feel like I'm I don't want to tell someone's personal business so I say we use the diapers but I don't actually use diapers I know it's confusing because sometimes I say we but I just say we as in I'm helping her and I'm not actually using them. I just feel like by saying we, I'm not telling her personal business. But no, I, I do not have any issues to wear diapers. Um, when I was pregnant, I had like, like any pregnant woman. It felt like sometimes I would, if I coughed or sneezed or anything, I would pee a little but most pregnant women do have a little bit of urinary issues but after my baby was born i haven't had any kind of issues um someone my husband's grandma did give me some adult diapers in case i wanted to use for the bleeding and stuff after having a baby and i have used them a couple of times for reasons like that but i don't have any inconvenient 
however you pronounce it, um, and to come with, I'm just going to say urinary. I don't have any urinary issues, um, but this channel, I'm trying to provide educational information for anyone who does and, and help y'all find the best products. There is a company that asked me to test out products like this. Um, they have products for like postpartum women that may have be having like bladder issues and things from after having a baby. Any issues like that that I've had done clear it up. It's been three years. But I am going to try to test out. Um, I will be doing a water test probably to test out those diapers. Or actually it's more like underwear thing that they're sending me to test out. But to answer your question, no, I don't have any issues. When I say we, I mean I'm helping someone who uses diapers. I'm not personally using the diapers myself. Sorry if that's confusing. And I do these try-ons just for fun. The ABDL ones I, I just do for fun. Or the other diapers I just do for educational reasons of helping people that have urinary bladder problems and also just for fun i think that's what the abdl community is mainly about just um a carefree life acting like a baby and and wearing diapers and just doing it for fun there are some that do have issues though and that's how they like embrace the being an adult baby because they started out with bladder issues super nice diapers i want to sleep in them cool that was all of the comments so i'm sorry for the ones that said read more and i couldn't read more because i'm not having wi-fi here If that's all I have for this video, it's raining here. I gotta go grab my umbrella and run back over to my neighbors um, to help her out for the night and get my son. It's about probably it's getting near time. About another hour, my husband's gonna go to work and I have to get my son up from his nap and then I have to do the caregiver job of helping this lady get into her nightly routine to go to bed and stuff. I'll catch y'all in the next video.